Greetings, Gravity Team Tactics, Mice Run Players, to my stepping up campaign as the German player. Turn 6, uh, video 1, which represents the 18th of July 1943 at 1400 hours. The operational briefing map shows a confused state of the battle at this stage, with uh, unit positions overlapping each other. Take two. The top of the map is north, and we are just below Marinovka West and Marinovka, which are the two big key points on the map uh, with 30 points between them. Fedorovka, the farmstead, and the feature 203.4. Uh, the other key points in our possession and the Soviets have one key point which is the barn. The briefing suggests the Soviet forces are going to enter from the south east of the map and head towards the southwest. Uh, looks like they're attacking our 203.4 feature and a secondary target of the farmstead. Uh, but you would think with Marinovka West and Marinovka being such high point key points that the AI would have that in its uh, calculations. Our units, we have a tank battalion commander who has just arrived on the battlefield collection of Panzer twos and Panzer Grenadiers. The Panzer Grenadiers have a stack of HHI-3 and Telemines, so I would suggest they could be useful if uh, the T-34s or uh, manage to get this far of the map and we move them behind this tree line so that they can then engage the T-34s at close range. The Panzer III's were initially located in this area, so I've decided to keep them down this part of the map. Uh, the idea is, of course, if the Soviets do come across this part of the map, well, obviously we'll be able to ambush them straight through there. But I suggest they'll probably use this gully area um, to get onto the this area here. We also have uh, a Marder platoon. Uh, but only one martyr is actually operational and the other is damaged, so I've just put them there as an adjunct to the Panzer III's. The infantry battalion commander I've just placed down here, more or less as uh, a sentry to keep an eye down this way and also spotting across to the east. My artillery unit I've put uh, just to the east of this tree line once again looking across to this area here in the trees which we might be able to use them or for any uh, incursions in this area so I'm suggesting they'll get some action of some sort. I have a odd podge uh, battalion commander uh, unit which I have stationed in Marinovka, just in case they do charge down that way. Uh, they won't hold much back, but at least they'll give me warning that there's something happening over that side of the map, because we are fairly spread out. The backbone to the defence is our anti tank guns, which once again, a common um, deployment tactic of mine. Obviously there's a ridge coming through here, and I've posted them obliquely looking across towards the middle of this area where we were expecting them from. Uh, they won't be able to receive direct fire from this part of the map so they'll get protection from there but if the T-34s go that way we can shoot along down the ridge there and if they come across this way of course they can then shoot up towards the south. And lucky last is this company commander who uh, was also placed in this part of the map, so I'm putting him in this tree line here. Uh, once again, maybe a chance to ambush any 
infantry units coming up this way uh, provide a forward set of eyes for the Panzer 3s. See that ridge line quite clearly there. Falls away. So it could be a very confused battle, uh, but we're just going to have to see how it works. I think the general idea at this stage, see I've got guns down here and the Panzer 3s here, so if the Soviets do roll up here, hopefully our guns can hold them in location long enough for our Panzer 3s then to sweep up on this flank and we'll get them in some sort of crossfire.
The result might seem uh, a little bit odd given the overwhelming defeat of the T-34s, but if we have a look at the operational map, those infantry commander battalions in the southwest I didn't get around to attacking and also I don't think we had time to take that barn key point which may have put us over the top for some type of minor victory so what eventually happened was the Panzer 3s went north of course as you saw in the battle uh, rather than engaging those units in the southwest as you can see by that blue arrow